Good evening, Vanessa. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello class, how are you today? How was your day? Busy, tiring, crazy? Happy. Oh, you had a happy day. What yes. Ha oh, what happened? Um, eh, no sé cómo se dice. Uh -huh. O sea, que estuvo como re eh, relax. Ah, oh, it was a relaxing day. Good. Uh -huh. Relaxing day. Excellent. Excellent. And the rest of the class, how was your day? Crazy, busy, relaxed, boring. Okay, let's start with today. We're gonna to start with a warm up activity. We're gonna talk about something that is coming that so everybody can give opinion. And the question is, what are you going to do for Christmas? Understand the question? Yes. In that case, Sergio. Hello, good evening. Hello. Okay, Sergio, okay. can you ask me that question, please? No comprendo muy bien la pregunta, teacher. No, ask me. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en Navidad? No, no, ask me. You ask me. Ah, uh, what are you going to do for Christmas? Okay, so I'm going to write down right now.
まあまあ。えAll right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get, I'm, go, I'm sorry, I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up at 6 a.m. and take a shower. Then I'm going to put on my favorite shorts and rock feature. And cook, okay, I'm going to uh, cook breakfast for my daughters. After I'm going to do some cleaning, then relax. And in the afternoon, I'm going to prepare the Christmas dinner. Bay chicken with orange sauce and a delicious potato salad. And on and on and on, okay? So what I want you to do People, Vanessa, Sergio, Maria Fernanda, Carla, Francisco Javier, Diana, Jenny, Walter, Yolanda, Jacqueline, Gerson, Adriana, and Karen, please write down a paragraph about what are you going to do for Christmas. You have an example here. Understand the activity? Write them in a book or in chat? Um, you can write it on your on a notebook. Yeah, it's okay. If you have any question, just let me know, okay? If you're going to make tamales, write down tamales. It's a tradition.
Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Finish. Are you done? Jacqueline, Vanessa, Flor de Maria, are you, are you done? Teacher, Jack, I wouldn't start. Oh, I'm sorry. Pero entiendo que hay que hacer un párrafo de... Oh, yeah, going to... My... Okay. Yeah. Yes, Maria Ferdana, we, we are not going, we are not using will, we are using going to. But leave it like that. Mire, vean la estructura que hemos usado. Going to. I'm using going to. Si la pregunta es con going to, yo respondo con going to. Or gonna. Okay, I think everybody's ready. Everybody ready? Are you ready? Por favor, respondan. Please answer. No yet. Ah, yet. okay, okay, okay. Hurry up. But time is up. Time yes, is up. I lo, I lo dicen así a capella, okay? Let's go to the groups and read your paragraphs to your partners. Time's up. This is just the first activity, okay? It's just an activity to, to practice our English, okay? Be happy, don't worry. Life is life. 
Let's talk about life, okay? Let's talk about Christmas. I'm going to cook a turkey. I'm going to uh, make tamales. I don't know what else. Francis is going to work.
Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm going to Hello. I'm going to ask you right now. Okay. Okay. Just remember when we ask a uh, with the structure of going, you're going to answer with going. Okay. If someone asks with a uh, simple present, you uh, you your answer with simple present. If the equation is in simple past, your answer is in simple past. Okay, remember that. This is just an activity. Okay, let's check. What are you going to do, Sergio, for Christmas? I'm going. I'm going to get to get up at. Uh, 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Then I am going to take a shower. And after uh, I have breakfast, mm -hmm. I'm going out with my family. In the ev evening, evening mm -hmm. we are going to pre prepare dining, dinner, rice, meat. Oh. And uh, we are going burn powder. <laughs> uh, oh no, you're going uh, fire fireworks and crackers. Crackers. <laughs> yeah, crackers are 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 cuete, what we call cuetes. Cuetes, uh huh. Yeah, that is, those are crackers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great, Finish. excellent. Finish. All right, thank you, Sergio. Okay. Let me see. Do we have an, a, a volunteer? Who? Come on, come on. Oh, Diana. Yes. Tell us. I am going to get up at 8 a.m. And I, I get my breakfast. And before I take a shower and go to buy some things for prepare the dinner. After that, I am going to look for my outfit at the mall. Oh, oh. In, in my family, we are uh, going to cook meat. And for the dessert, we are going to buy some pie. Excellent. You're going to cook uh, barbecue. That what you going to cook barbecue? No, carne asada. Yeah, barbecue. That's a barbecue. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, good real meat, real meat. Excellent. Okay. With chiremole, chorizo, casamiento, toasted tortillas. Cebollines. Oh my goodness, delicious. All right. Lord de Maria, what are you going to do for Christmas? Good evening, teacher. Hello. I am going to get in at eight. Uh, at eight a.m. Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And good uh, breakfast. Yes. And for my daughter, for my daughter, in my husband. Mm hmm. Uh, after they catch a war, oh. put on my favorite clothes. clothes. Okay. Clothes, uh huh. I will, no sé si está correcto. I will shopping. Ah, uh, I'm going to go shopping. i going to go shopping. Yes, for Christmas dinner. Ah. All right. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Flor. No more? Okay. Okay. Another participation, please. Oh, Jacqueline. Thank you, Jacqueline. Oh. 
good evening. Eh, mi párrafo es al tiro. <laughs> ah, it's a short paragraph. Yes, es conciso. <laughs> Concise. I'm going, uh -huh. I'm going to get a uh, H A I M uh -huh. and I I exercise at my thirty uh -huh. and I go to the market to the to buy food. In the afternoon, mm -hmm. we attend the church and and then meet with our family. Okay, okay. At the, al inicio escuché una ensalada de tiempos verbales. Dígalo de nuevo. I'm going to get up. Ah, ahora sí. Ajá, ajá. I'm going to get up. All right. That's okay. Okay, my friend, let's go. Let's continue with the class. We have another activity. Be careful with the. These activities are to encourage you to practice your English, okay? Right now, we're going to watch a video. Pay attention. No listen, teacher. Give me a second. I always make the same mistake. I always do that. I'm sorry, I always do the same thing. Okay. Today, I'm going to talk about how to pronounce the past tense of regular verbs. Regular verbs take the ED ending in the past. There are three different ways to pronounce the ED. How you pronounce it depends on the final sound of the verb in the infinitive form. When the final sound of the verb in infinitive form is an unvoiced consonant sound, then the ED is also pronounced as an unvoiced consonant, and that is the T, -t sound. For example, the word pack. When you add the ED, it becomes packed because the K sound is unvoiced. Other unvoiced sounds are P, F, S, CH, SH, and F. So any regular verb that ends in one of these sounds will have the ED pronounced as the T, T sound. The second case is when the final sound of the infinitive verb is a voiced consonant or a vowel or a diphthong sound. In this case, the ED is pronounced as the D, D sound, a voiced consonant. For example, the verb to save. The final sound is the V, v voiced consonant sound, so the ED will take the D, voiced D sound ending, saved. 
saved. V, b, g, v, z, 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 r, n, 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 o. So any regular verb ending in one of these consonant sounds or a vowel or diphthong sound will take the d sound when the ed is added. The final case is when the verb in the infinitive form ends in either a d or t sound. In this case, the ending is pronounced with the i as in sit vowel and the d sound. For example, the verb to land. It ends with the D sound, so the past tense of this regular verb is landed, id, with the I as in sit and the D sound, landed. Now we will look at some regular verbs. Based on the information you just heard, you should now be able to tell how the ED will be pronounced. How do you pronounce this word? The final sound of the verb in the infinitive form to bake is the k, k sound. It's unvoiced. Therefore, the ed is pronounced t, unvoiced with the t sound. Baked. Baked. How do you pronounce this word? In the infinitive, the final sound is the d, d sound. Therefore, it is case three. Ended where the ED is pronounced with the I as in sit and the D sound. Ended. How do you pronounce this word? The final sound of the verb in infinitive form is the N consonant sound. This is a voiced consonant. Therefore, it is case two, where the ED is pronounced as the D sound. Leaned. Leaned. How do you pronounce this word? The infinitive form to believe ends in the v, v consonant sound, which is voiced. Therefore, it is again case two, where the ed is pronounced as the d sound, believed. How do you pronounce this word? The final sound in infinitive form is sh, the unvoiced sh sound. Since it is unvoiced, it is case one, where the ed is pronounced as a t, washed, washed. How do you pronounce this sound? In the infinitive, the final sound of the verb is p, p, which is unvoiced. Therefore, it is case one, and the ed is pronounced as a t, flipped, flipped. How do you pronounce this word? The final sound in the infinitive is the n consonant sound, n, which is voiced. Therefore, it is case two, where the ed is pronounced as the d sound. Turned, turned. How do you pronounce this verb? The final sound in the infinitive is the e as in she vowel sound. Since it is a vowel, it must be case two, where the ed is pronounced as the d sound. Carried, carried. How do you pronounce this verb? The final infinitive sound is s, the s sound. That is unvoiced, so it is case one, where the ed is pronounced as the t sound. Missed, missed. How do you pronounce this word? The final infinitive sound is the t, t sound. This means it is case three, where the ed is pronounced as the i as in sit with the d sound. Punted. Punted. How do you pronounce this word? The final sound in the infinitive is the M consonant sound. Mm, it is voiced. Therefore, it is case two, and the ED is pronounced as the D. Bummed. Bummed. How do you pronounce this sound? The final sound in the infinitive is F, the unvoiced F sound. Since it's unvoiced, it is case one, where the ed is pronounced as the t, t sound. Laughed, laughed. How do you pronounce this word? The final sound in the infinitive is the i as in by diphthong. 
Therefore, it is case two, and the ed is pronounced as the d sound. Shied. Shied. How do you pronounce this word? The final sound of the infinitive form of the verb is the t, t sound. Therefore, it is case three, where the ed is pronounced as the i as in sit with the d sound. Rested. Rested. How do you pronounce this word? The final sound of the verb in infinitive form is ch. That is an unvoiced consonant sound. Therefore, it is case one where the ed is pronounced as the t sound. Watched. Watched. How do you pronounce this word? The final sound of the verb in the infinitive form is the d, d sound. Therefore, it is case three where the ed is pronounced as the i as in sit with the d sound. Needed. Needed. Congratulations! Now you know how to pronounce regular verbs in the past tense. Questions? What was the video about? What was the video about? About the who pronunciation the the words and EP. Ah, but what but what words? Ah, uh, los ejemplos que puse. <laughs> Me salve. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> okay, someone else? What was the video about? Was the video about regular or irregular verbs? Was the video about regular or irregular verbs? Regular verbs. Regular verbs. And regular verbs have three final sounds. When ed sound d, when ed sound and when ed <laughs> sounds id, there are three final sounds. Also, there are three pronunciation rules. Okay. But that is something you have to study more in another tutorial. We're going to, we're going to continue with our class. Para de sufrir. Okay. So today we're going to start another. Hey, the attendance list. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I always forgot. Okay, I'm going to call the attendance, my friends. Adriana Lisset Chavez. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Flor de Maria Valladares. Present, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gerson Osvaldo Deras. No. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo. Jay-Z. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Jay-Z. Present teacher. All right. Got you. Karen Gemina Membreño. Present teacher. Hey. 
Carla Nayeli Machado. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. Present. Maria Fernanda Morán. Present. Thank you. Merari Andrea Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Sergio David Leiva. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Present. Thank you. Walter Amilcar Ramírez. Present. Present. Thank, thank you. Jenny Carolina Tobar. Present. Thank you. And Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. All right, let's see. Jenny, can you read this slide, please? I will be able to uh, in, engage. In, engage in uh, a small talk using a uh, Variety. Variety of topics. Hey, very good, of topics. Engage in a small talk using a variety of, or by variety of topics. Very good. Let's start. What small talk? What's a small talk? Taking a charla. Okay, in English, how can you say that? A short conversation. Yeah, that is a small talk. A short conversation. Yeah, when we say, hey, good to see you. Hey, Sergio, good to see you. Take care, bye-bye. That's a small talk. Or, hey, Sergio, how are you? And so you, all Goodbye. right. Yeah, I'm good too. <laughs> see you. See you. Bye bye. All right. That's a small talk. But do you consider yourself a good conversation conversationalist? Do you consider yourself a good conversation conversationalist? Are you good? A conversation? Yes or no? Do you like to have long conversations and you can speak for hours and hours? Teacher. Hello? I am, uh, I like to talk. <laughs> to talk. You love to talk. Okay, talk. Yes. All right, we say talk. Okay, don't say talk, it's talk. This is how we write, right? But this is how we pronounce it. Okay, talk, like TikTok. Talk. Diana, are you good at conversations? Yes, but it depends on the person. When ah, I'm... it depends with who, who are you talking to. Yeah. Yeah, but in general, are you a good conversationalist? Yes, I oh, think so. All right, very good. And the rest of the class? Are you good at talking or are you good at listening? Are you a good speaker or are you a good listener? Who do you consider you are? If you are a good speaker. if you are a good speaker, write a speaker on the chat. If you are a good listener, write listener, okay? Come on, write down on the chat. I'm going to write down, I'm a That's me. A speaker. 
or listener. A speaker. Listen to the instructions. But I guess Walter is a good speaker. Continue, please. Right on the chat. Okay, Sergio. Thank you, Sergio. Good speaker. Speaker two, Diana. Only Sergio and Diana and Will. Then I have no more students. Only three students in the class. Depends on the topic, teacher. Oh, okay, yeah, but I'm 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 asking you to write down. If you're a good speaker or a good listener, and only three of you have written on the chat, the rest didn't pay attention. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we have it says choose three good topics for small talk and three you consider. Okay, check with a check, right? Write a check on three good topics and write a an X if you consider inappropriate. Then discuss your choice choices with a partner. Okay. Which you consider are good and which are you consider are in, inappropriate on this chart. Teacher. Teacher. Hello. What do we have to do? Write a check on the on the good topics. And write an X on the 
topics you consider inappropriate? Understand? No, I don't understand. Okay, let me see if I can do it. Okay. Um, let me see. Is location a good topic to talk? Example, is your company near the trade center? Can you talk about your job? Yes, right? Mm -hmm. We put a, a check. Okay. In, on the good topics. Okay. And politics. These politicians are a disaster. What do you think? So we recommend not to talk about politics is a touchy, so you write an X, okay? Mm -hmm. So checks yeah. for the good topics, X for the bad topics. Understand? Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Good. Finish everybody? Yes. Okay. Now you're going to discuss your choices in groups. As an example, I'm going to say, uh, in my opinion, to talk about common events is a, is a good topic. Like, um, I went to the church or if you went to the movies, that's a common event or a seminar, a training, etc. You can you can start talking about a common event. Okay, uh, what was the seminar about? If you uh, made uh, new contacts for your company, uh, what what are the names of the other companies? Uh, 
did you give your contact to those companies, etc. Okay. Um, also, you can talk about likes. What do you like or what do you enjoy to do in your free time? Okay, if you want to talk those people that like to stay at home, read a book, watch TV, do exercise, sleep, uh, cook, do the, you know, and you take care of you, that's, that's one good topic to talk about likes. Okay, discuss these topics in group, okay? What are good topics for you and what are inappropriate topics? Understand? Yes. Okay. Let's do it.
Hello, teacher. Hi. So, is money a good topic? No. No, right? No. Talking about money is not good to ask people how much. How much uh, do you yeah. earn? No. Inappropriate. Yeah, inappropriate. Uh, to talk about bosses? Inappropriate. Inappropriate too. Yeah, inappropriate. you cannot talk about bosses because you don't know. You don't know the people. You don't know if they know your boss. And you don't know if you're going to have another job. The money, teacher. No, no money, no politics, no bosses. Yes. And what are good topics? Travel. Travels, yeah, travels. Travel. Travel. Likes. 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 Common events. Likes. Common events. And location. Events, yeah. yeah, in location, you can talk about the location where you work. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Think about three other good topics to for a small talk. Another topic, another good topic. Always are the same. Hobbies. Like? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Hobbies is different. About the employer or co worker? Mm, good topics. Good topic. Yeah, good topics. Ah, yeah. Um. Hobbies is okay. Mm. Excuse me. Ah, the weather. The weather. Okay. The weather. Yes, you can talk about the weather. Okay, let's write it here. You can talk about hobbies. You can talk about hobbies, you can talk about the weather, you can talk about food, what else? Favorite game? Favorite. Sport. What, do, what, Sport. Don't, what don't we say favorite things? In general, favorite things, sports, uh -huh. movies, yeah, movies, food, excuse me, food, I don't understand, food, <laughs> In Spanish. Comida. Ah, food, food. Food, food. is here. No le entono bien, pero ya casi. Food. Okay, food. Okay, what about music? Concerts. Hey, more. You see this short, this short um, conversation? You see this short conversation? Yes. Where are you? 
are you? Oh, here you are. Ok, let me see. Aquí tengo un recordatorio importante. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Teacher, Hello. Yo no he hecho nada porque se me bloqueó eh, la cuenta del correo y ya lo notifiqué, pero no me dijeron nada y después no puedo entrar a la, a la, a la plataforma. Siga, no, porque... siga insistiendo, por favor. Más que yo no sé qué hacer, me voy a descontar la cuota. <risas> siga, siga insistiendo, mande mensajes. Hasta que le respondan. Mande mensaje. Yo lo voy a copiar y lo voy a mandar también. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Good. Ok. So this was the conversation. Vanessa, let's practice this conversation. Excuse me, where is the conference? It's on the floor, floor, floor. Floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending too? Yes, I am. All right. Listen, excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me, me. where's the conference? Conference is on the second floor. It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending too? Yes, I am. Got it? Let's continue. Let me see. Kim, no, it's is um... okay. Let's okay. let's practice this conversation and send it send the audio to WhatsApp. Understand? Send the, the conversation to WhatsApp.
sea, no me aparece para entrar al aula. Hello. ¿Cómo hago para entrar al aula? Who is it? Merari. No, Yolanda. Yolanda, Yolanda, Yolanda. Vamos, let, let, me, let me see Yolanda. Ok. Me va a enviar al aula. Ya. Yeah. Ok. By the way, are you attending to? By the way, are you attending to? Good conversation. Continue sending your audio, please. I'm listening. I only have one audio right now. I'm expecting like maybe five or six audios.
It's on the second floor. So, by the way, are you at the too? Yes, I am. Thank you, Diana. Javier. Sorry, I didn't listen. Gave you nothing. There's nothing. There's no audio. Two more minutes and we change activity. And I still only have two audios. Send it by WhatsApp on your phone. Use your phones. Two more minutes.
Excuse me, where is the conference? The, of the second block. It stands by the way. Are you attending to? Yes, I am. Very good. Very good, Jolie. Thank you. Excuse me, where is the conference? It is on the second floor. Then, by the way, are you got to Great. Okay, sorry if you have problems. Let's continue. Okay, now it's your turn to prepare a short conversation like the one in the model. Use different topics to initiate a small talk. You can write a, a longer conversation. Okay, take turns practicing your, your small talk skill with a, at least three partners in the group. Uh, first, prepare your conversations, okay? And after that, um, practice the conversation with your partners. Understand the activity? Yep. You can talk about vacation. You can talk about uh, movies. And can free time be... activities, etc. Okay, only... comprend it, prepare a short person. conversation. Personal teacher, un poquito más larga, quizá. A little bit longer, okay? A more phrase. Yeah. One it's more? <laughs> one more, no, but a personal conversation with your topics. <laughs> but uh, only three lines? No, maybe six lines. Okay, three and three. Yeah. 
Es que yo creo que por el ventilador. Teacher. Hello. En español, siguiendo el modelo que acabamos de tener. Ya. Yeah. Ok.
How are you? Oh, my teacher. Okay, okay, thank you. Excellent. Everybody's working. Good students. Are you finished, Sergio? Diana? Yes, I finished. All right. Finished, Diana? Jacqueline, are you finished? Vanessa, are you finished? Yes, teacher. Oh, thank you. Vanessa, are you finished? Good. JC, finish. Walter, Merari. Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Let's go to the groups and practice your, your conversation. Share the conversation by WhatsApp. Okay. Send a, a, a photo and practice the conversation. Uh, any question about pronunciation or everything is okay? It's okay. Hello. Okay. Let's work.
gonna give you five minutes. Hello, what are you? What are you working? I'm working on a courtyard. Excellent. I'm glad for you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. You too. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's okay. It's a short conversation, but it's okay. Practice this, baby.
Okay, welcome. I need two volunteers to practice the conversation. Los voluntarios. Mi teacher. Ok, thank you. Eh, la que mandamos al WhatsApp. Este... Oh, this one, this one. Ok. Come on, Harrison. Sergio. <laughs> ok. Hello, where are you working? I am working on a cotar. Oh, excellent. I'm glad for you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. You too. Very good. The small talk and clear. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, one more participation, please. One more participation. Hey, one more question. Hello. We, we do it in individual, no group. Ah, okay. Read it. Leala. Uh, yeah. Me? Yeah, you. Okay. Hello. Where is the party? Hi. The party is on the center part. Oh, oh. thanks. And who is the music band? Are the Hermano Flores? Oh. <laughs> the, the Flower Brothers. Yes, okay. the Flower Brothers. <laughs> okay, uh, another participation? Me. Thank you. Excuse me, where is that bread from? That bread is from the corner store. Thank you very much for telling telling me where you sell bread. Ah. You're welcome, friend. All right, good. You're hungry. <laughs> yes. You want some <laughs> you want some bread. Okay, thank you. Do you have any other participation or we're going to call the attendance? All right. Adriana Lisset Chavez. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Um, Lord de Maria Valladares. Present, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gerson Osvaldo Deras. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Gemina Mbreño. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Nayeli Machado. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. Present. Thank you. María Fernanda Morán. Present. Merari Andrea Sánchez. Sergio David Leiva. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Present. Thank you. Walter Amilcar Ramírez. Jenny Carolina Tobar. Present. Thank you. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Let's continue.
Now it's time to read. Read the article about Miss Tate's networking experience. Discuss if the questions below are true or false. Correct the false sentences. Last week, I had lunch with Allison, a new member of my network contacts. We saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other very well. I set a goal last year. I will have a one-on-one -on -one networking meeting with at least five new contacts this year. My fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share the experience. During lunch, Allison mentioned that she was shy by nature in the past. She said she worried a lot before going to a large networking event. I felt surprised because she trusted me that feeling. I got to know more about her, the industry she works in, and about her expectations for the future. I gained more than a new contact. I passed from small talk to a smart talk. Here's my advice to you. When you attend business events, do not just go and discuss business, problems and solutions. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch or dinner. There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you build meaningful connections with people in the industry. Now listen to the audio. Okay, teacher.
finish. Thank you. All right, class. Another class had ended. We're we're finished. So we have to say goodbye, good night. Okay. Take good care. Night, and Bye. we'll practice tomorrow with the reading. Okay. okay. Tomorrow it's Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. We are the middle of the course. December. December. Bye. Christmas. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye.